Welcome back uh, to Zurich. We are now having the press conference with uh, the winner of uh, the first game to finish today in the round one. This is uh, Magnus Carlsen who won his game against Gelfand. This was a, a brilliant game, not only uh, thanks to Magnus Carlsen's very strong play, but also because Gelfand defended uh, extremely well, uh, ingeniously. Uh, Magnus, please, which are your first impressions? How did it really go this game? Uh, it was a really fun game, <laughs> I, I thought. <coughs> um, the opening was kind of quiet, I didn't expect um, Knight of 6 there, when he, he went back um, with 8 or 9, something like that. Uh, and then I, I just didn't really know what to do, so I, after sitting there for a while I made a few natural moves, but then I wasn't so sure about his knight e4. Maybe he can wait with that. If maybe just knight d7 instead. But I will go. Let's say rook c1, and and we have a game. Mm -hmm. uh, knight e4, e3. It's a little bit artificial, but <coughs> yeah, takes. I don't know about takes, but mm -hmm. at least uh, it looks logical. So. Mm -hmm. He probably missed your idea. Yeah, he probably four, missed G4. Which was a first very crucial moment in this game yeah. here. I don't know if it's, it's if it's very good, but I thought about it for a while. And it's too nice an idea not to... Mm -hmm. yeah. So, well, he had a choice between what he did, of course, yeah. but makes the game complicated, or defending probably sli a slightly worse yeah. ending. Yeah, after. You can go, yeah, you can take on D2 and, and, and then bishop E6. But it's a bit unpleasant. Yeah, it's 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 not so nice. I go maybe knight knight b one, something like this. Mm -hmm. And uh, um, I mean, probably he should be able to neutralize it eventually. But I also have a little bit of an advantage on the king side now. I can push g five, and then um, mm -hmm. his bishop on g seven is a little bit up. So. But he chose the yeah. He chose probably the critical yeah the critical way. And f5 too. Yeah, f5. And now you decided on f3, which is very good for this bishop. Yeah. You need to give him life again on the long diagonal, so f, f3. Basically, if he takes it, you will take back with the knight and then jump somewhere, and this will be quite strong. Yeah, I calculated lots of lines here, but eventually I felt that I was not risking too much, so I, I had to go for it. Mm -hmm. And it in it's interesting to see that. The white pieces are basically on the same squares that they were a few moves ago, mm -hmm. but the black position is drastically worsened because the pawn on d5 is gone, and then the g2 bishop can roam f freely. Mm -hmm. And also, it's very important uh, th that the f4 bishop also covers a lot of squares, so he cannot really cover his queen side at all. Mm -hmm. But he decided on e5. Yeah, e5 here. was interesting. Mm -hmm. Here I could also take on e5 with the bishop, but. <laughs> That didn't look very convincing. Take back fg4. Ah, I wanted, F, ah, I wanted fg4. Mm -hmm. uh, and then bishop c7. Mm -hmm. I can take go bishop a3, but then he goes f4, and I don't think I have anything. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Substantial, anyway. So, this was logical. Uh, it should be noted that if he goes rook a d8 instead of e f3, um, last move. Yep. Then I think e knight e4 is quite strong. Mm -hmm. That's that's the trick. Uh, and f g4. No, I'm definitely calling the shots. Mm -hmm. uh, so I think he played the right way, and it's a really interesting position because all of my pawns are are crippled, but mm -hmm. I have tremendously active pieces. Yes, the knight can come here. Knight can come there. And then the bishop will. Mm -hmm. uh, my rook is active on the a file, and, and so on. So. What yeah. he played rook e8 is very logical, mm -hmm. um, but it seems that almost by force uh, he gets a difficult position here. Mm -hmm. Maybe he should he should just chop off the knight on f3 and hope to mm -hmm. survive this way. And now go knight b4 or something like this. Mm -hmm. uh, because his bishop on g4 is, is just so awful after my knight moves away. So it makes sense to 
So he's probably going to lose a7, b7, but he will get e5. Yeah, and these two pawns are, and not, these two pawns pawns are not too great. So I think he has good chances to draw there. Mm -hmm. However, after yeah, after what happened, knight b4, knight d4, I think it's very, very difficult for him. Mm -hmm. b6 takes bishop e5. Yeah, and bishop h6. Bishop h6. And after rook f7, rook a4, mm -hmm. uh, bishop d6. Knight c6, I think, is yeah. losing an exchange by force. Mm -hmm. um, Actually, the, the computer was showing this bishop h3 here. Ah, yeah, bishop h3. Yeah. That's, why, that's why it mm -hmm. might be interesting to, to think insert h3. Ah, h3, yeah. h3. At some point, yeah. Ah, but this course. is very computerish, so. Yeah. Also, in the game, the decisive moment was that I could put play h3. So yeah. maybe, maybe even here, yeah, h3 and then knight c6. First, yeah. Or in this position after. Yeah, here h3. play h3 and then mm. it should be very good. Knight c6. Yeah, yeah. And it seems this that you win an exchange yeah. and then it's, it's lost, more or less. Well, he defended with a. Uh, yeah, he, rook f6. Yeah, uh, very interesting, but it was not enough in yeah. the end. h3, mm -hmm. bishop h5. Maybe is here forced. he should take on d4. Maybe he should. Oh, but I don't think he can survive if he takes. And bishop e2, I just. Bishop e2. And another g5 coming. Uh, maybe, maybe rook e1 is the best. Because then he can, cannot go rook f7. But g5, of rook the computer says g5. A g5 is, here? It's still possible. Huh, I didn't see that. The yeah, computer says. Computer, yeah, yeah, so, com so complicated, yeah. 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 So complicated. Maybe he could have tried this. Yeah. 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 But it, it really smells a little. Yeah, of yeah. course. It's very of smelly. Course, yeah. So, <laughs> and since uh, Boris was running out of time, he also yeah. played this move very logically. Uh, yeah. Bishop h5 is the most natural. No. Yeah, knight c2. Knight if c2 he, if, if g5, I think it's the only chance. Knight mm -hmm. c2, bishop d5, mm -hmm. and then rook yeah. c1. So I think he probably missed bishop g5. Mm -hmm. or, or maybe he missed rook f5 after rook. Because anyway, yeah, yeah, yeah. this. Of course, if he takes on knight c2, it's, it's bishop d5, rook e5, and knight. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. So here it's basically winning. You just have to be a bit careful. Yeah. H6. Okay, bishop h6 is a little bit flashy, maybe, but I thought uh, it makes sense to get rid of rid of this pawn somehow. Mm -hmm. um, because if I take on b4, rook g5, rook g5, hg5, you know, he has two bishops. Um, and though it should be winning, it's it's uh, it's not so easy. Mm -hmm. Some more work needed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. I I thought the critical way to play was bishop f3. Yes, this was uh, <laughs> something we also. And and now I, I think probably bishop. Uh, wow, I missed something very simple here. Rook g5. Yeah, I wanted rook g5. Mm -hmm. Um. And takes takes bishop g2, bishop yeah knight b4. But here I didn't see that he could take the pawn. I was just considering bishop b4. Mm -hmm. Ah, you mean take h3? Yeah, I yeah, can mm -hmm. take on h3. Which still should be should be winning. Knight d3 or knight d5. Mm -hmm. knight d5. Yeah, but yeah. still some work to be done. Yeah, not completely lost yet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so so but bishop f3 is very, yeah. mm. very computer-like move. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's true, yeah. Um, so it's a good start in this tournament, after yeah. yesterday's blitz, was, which was a bit more shaky. Yeah, the last, last few games were good. And, yeah. and now, today, uh, I guess my it showed that I hadn't played it for a long time in, at the start, because then yeah, I just couldn't make a decision. But um, after a few moves, I remembered how to to play chess again, <laughs> and then, <laughs> and then, uh, but it was really just a very fun game. Mm. Uh, lots of positional, tactical uh, mm. s stuff, and basically from I don't know move 15, it was all you know tactics on every move, and this yeah. is uh, this is fun, yeah, especially if you're calling the shots. Yes. <laughs> yeah, you made you made. A lot out of a very symmetrical and apparently quiet position, and uh, yeah, this is uh, this is very nice. Yeah. Okay, thank you very thank much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you.